Hi, my name is Tiffany Hill. I work at Madison CDC, room 113 in the preschool room. Today we're going to be making a sensory bag or a sensory bottle. Um, you might have children that have a text complex, so it's good for like massaging and feeling the roughness and then they can feel the softness. Um, it's easy to make. All you need is a lunch bag the block bag. Um, you take it, you open it. You can use any color, finger paint. Um, you also can add, to give it something different, you might wanna add glitter. Um, but you take it and you put a little bit of paint inside a bag. And you will zip Make sure all the air is out of the bag because if not, it will not work. You can take it and zip lock it. You also could take a piece of scotch tape. And you could put this on the floor. They can use it either, either use their hands or feet. You could put it on the floor. You also could put it on top of your table with some easy peanut tape so that it won't move and actually stay in place. Do both sides. That way it'll be steady. You can also do the side so that won't no paint seek out of the bag while the child is actually using it. And as you see, it's something easy and simple for your piece of your palette to do. And they could take it and smooth it out. They can write their name. They can write letters. A, B, C is a good cognitive skill, a good physical skill. Um, it also can soothe them if they get upset and it gives them a relaxing sensation um, it also can keep them busy for hours also if you want to do a bottle because some people like to see beautiful artwork you can take it and you can add some beads to the bottle to give it different colors you can get sand or you can use um, glitter to make it beautiful make it colorful you will add um, the blue sand. And make sure when you put the top on, you can glue it. You can use super glue or you can hot glue it just to make it more safe. You can use a regular water bottle. You can add more beads to it if you want it. Be more sparkly. And then you will glue the top on and it'll make a sensory bottle. And they will actually shape this and just look at it for days because you can turn it and see the cause and effect of doing it. You can just come be very creative with the situation. And like I said, your children will take, do this for hours and give them something to do. All right, and that's it.